welcome to my youtube channel rk soft academy so in this uh, tutorial channel i basically uploads many videos on different oracle technologies and also unix technologies and uh, videos on oracle sql that is structured query language uh, oracle pl sql programming oracle database design and database architecture and oracle database administration and also unix cell scripting so all these type of videos i be uploads in this tutorial channel in my tutorial channel for your learning okay and uh, mm, today i uh, want to discuss one uh, very important uh, com, uh, important uh, concept and uh, module which is called uh, which is called database normalization okay so today's discussion is about uh, database normalization so uh, i will discuss about uh, the following topics about the database normalization what is normalization in the database in the database uh, what are the purpose of normalization uh, what are normal forms uh, different types of normal forms and describe each normal form with examples okay so after watching this tutorial session you will get you will be clearly understanding what is basically database normalization is why it is in very much essential and required for designing a database and uh, how many normal forms are there are uh, there uh, to design the database okay and uh, i will show you uh, for uh, with the examples okay so now uh, coming to the first uh, question what is normalization in the oracle database so uh, who actually watching this t -t tutorial first uh, i will recommend them uh, to watch my previous videos on different oracle topics uh, i have uploaded many videos on starting from oracle basic understanding like database and uh, what is the database what is the sql what is the constraint a very a basic understanding of the database and uh, database management system so sql also uh, i have uploaded many videos on sql so i'll i'll uh, yeah. I uh, inform that uh, just watch this uh, all these videos uh, what is the database uh, if you ha don't have the concept of database what is SQL what is a database management system and what is a relational database management system okay so you will get the understanding of this uh, details uh, from these videos okay and i have many advanced topics uh, on oracle plsql and sql uh, on uh, oracle plsql programming and also oracle sql okay so watch all these videos and after watching and i have also a series of interview questions and answers starting from here and there are many videos on interview questions and answers uh, if you uh, when you f face in an interview you will must uh, face these questions and I I uh, uh, describe and uh, um, all this uh, I discuss all these questions uh, with the detail uh, understand the detail answers uh, what will be the your answer when you face this question on the interview board okay so these are uh, very important questions and you ma may face a, a, a in any interview either you are a fresher or a, you are a experienced people uh, in the oracle technology and you are uh, uh, you can may face this all uh, these questions and i have discussed a, each uh, questions with the proper answer and with the hands on practical way okay so this is about my introduction about my channel and about me i am a senior uh, technical consultant and i am a technical and corporate trainer and also an interviewer so i have total of 17 years of experiences working with many mnc companies in many positions with oracle different technologies as you see here already i told you so uh, and i i i am taking uh, interviews for many mnc companies uh, for recruiting their uh, employees and also um, uh, either they are freshers or experienced people 
so from my experiences of 17 years of experiences i have shared this all these videos for your learning so if you want to learn uh, oracle technology well and uh, if you have a, I are interested to learn Oracle different technologies, you can just watch all these videos from the very beginning to the end so that you can understand the concept well and uh, you can learn uh, uh, the Oracle uh, different concept uh, with the hands on practical way. Okay, so this is uh, the short introduction about my channel and about me. Now I'll discuss about. Uh, today's topic one by one so what is a normalization in the database so normalization is the process of organizing data in the efficient way uh, in the database okay so normalization is the process of efficiently organizing data in the database okay so whenever uh, a database is designed uh, it is designed based on the normalization techniques okay so normalization actually basically a technique or process to design the oracle that to design a database in an efficient way or uh, okay so this is the normalization process and we will discuss about the various techniques of normalization so uh, the basic uh, the what are the purpose of normalization normalization purpose uh, basically the purpose of normalization are two there are two purposes uh, of normalization the first one is the number one purpose is uh, uh, eliminate the uh, redundancy of data uh, and uh, 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 eliminate the redundancy of data for first one uh, and uh, uh, a large table have to be splitted into smaller tables okay smaller related tables so number one purpose of normalization is eliminate the redundancy of data uh, by splitting a large table into smaller different tables okay and they are related tables um, so, so uh, splitting a large table into related smaller tables this is the purpose one and second purpose is uh, so the second uh, purpose is very much important this is data dependency okay uh, so that uh, the data has to be organized in a certain way that they are logically dependent uh, on uh, uh, they are logically dependent to each other okay uh, so the, uh, that make sense actually uh, so uh, the part uh, so, so second purpose is data dependency uh, so it it will ensure the data dependency okay normalization will ensure the data dependency so we have learned two things about the normalization the purpose of normalization uh, there are two par main purpose of normalization first one is eliminating do uh, eliminating redundancy of data or, or data or duplication of data by splitting a large table into smaller related tables and number two is ensure the data dependency makes sense okay so these are the purpose to per main pur purpose of normalization number three is what are the normal forms so uh, to design a database uh, in a, a uh, efficient and uh, efficient and uh, effective uh, way uh, it has to be maintained some uh, rules okay so database has to be designed uh, following some rules these rules are called normal forms I am repeating again uh, to design a database in a efficient and if a efficient and uh, uh, feasible or you can say effective uh, way uh, effective way the the uh, database uh, the design process has to follow uh, some no, some rules okay a set of rules so the set of rules are called normal forms so what are normal forms normal forms are some set of rules 
by which the database has to be designed in an efficient way okay so uh, what are the different types of normal forms the no different types of normal forms are first normal form second normal form and third normal form okay what is the first normal form first normal form is it uh, um, uh, ensures that uh, any repeated group of data not exist okay so first normal form uh, have to be implemented by splitting a large table into uh, different uh, small tables so that repeat uh, so that uh, the data are stored logically uh, and they um, are stored in different tables uh, with a relation okay uh, so i am repeating again the first normal form ensures that data uh, a large table data has to be splitted into smaller tables uh, and stored into the smaller tables so that they can be related in logical uh, logically related okay and uh, second uh, second uh, uh, second uh, uh, second second point of first normalization is uh, second important point is uh, it uh, will eliminate the re du redundancy of data or duplicacy of the data okay so repeating group of data or duplicate uh, duplicate uh, group of data has to be eliminated okay and the third point of first normalization uh, normal form is uh, ensure that there should uh, should be one primary key column in each table okay so data has to be stored in multiple tables so ensure that each table has a primary key column okay so this is the first normal form which uh, set, uh, has to be satisfied three points as i said first one is uh, splitting into different uh, large table has to be splitted uh, or store uh, last table data has to be stored in uh, 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 different small tables with uh, logically related data and they should be in rela rela relation and the second point is it will be el uh, eliminated uh, repeated group of data and the third point is uh, uh, ensure that each table uh, each table has a primary key okay at least one primary key so this is the first normal form and uh, i am coming to the second normal form the second normal form is it has to be uh, follow the first normal form it must have to be follow the first normal form and uh, in addition with the first normal form it has to follow uh, that uh, there uh, should be no uh, partial dependency okay so each uh, we have to find out each data items from the um, uh, tables uh, data items mean columns uh, so uh, a data a table is a for is a collection of rows and columns as we already uh, I, as we already know that so each column is a data items okay so we have to uh, for we have to ensure that uh, data items is uh, there are no partial dependency with the data items in a table okay so if there is a partial dependency the date the table have to be splitted in uh, multiple uh, table okay multiple single table with a primary key uh, for each table so data uh, um, we have to follow the second normal form uh, the second normal form i uh, what i said is it has to uh, it has to maintain the first normal form uh, plus or in addition with this there should not be any partial dependency if you sh if there is a partial dependency it should be uh, the data should be splitted or uh, con uh, transferred to a new single table with the uh, primary key and foreign key relationship uh, uh, with the um, uh, related tables okay this is the second normal form and uh, the third normal form is uh, the third normal form has to follow the second norm first normal form and second normal form uh, 
uh, that means the second normal form uh, total and also it has to follow there should not be a, any a transitive dependency or uh, the all the non primary key attributes or columns must be fully dependent on the primary key column okay i'm repeating again the third normal form is uh, the third normal form is the all the non primary key column must be fully dependent on the primary key column if there is a table with large set of data so we have to ensure that all the non key attributes uh, and there is, should be one primary key column we have to ensure that all the other columns uh, or all the other column values uh, must be dependent fully dependent on the primary key column okay column value so this is the third normal form so i uh, i think you have understand all the normal forms well so i just uh, i will show you how i will uh, i can uh, uh, i i'll show you the examples of uh, the normal uh, forms uh, okay how they can be designed okay now you can see the picture uh, i'll describe you how, what is the uh, different normal forms first normal form second normal form and third normal form you can uh, just uh, watch uh, uh, the watch this picture how i can design uh, the database using this uh, normal forms okay so designing customer order database here is the customer order data uh, is stored in one table large table so there is a id customer name phone and email id and the item uh, the customer has ordered quantity the number of quantity and the order date okay so this is a large table okay so every item is not dependent on the uh, follow uh, primary key item so if uh, this table uh, is a large table and if this is a primary key uh, so uh, there is no relation of item name with this uh, customer uh, id okay and also quantity and order date there is no uh, direct relation with this id okay so, so to make it uh, to design this database in the efficient and in the normalized way what i will do is i will do separate three tables one is for customer and one is for items and one is for order okay so uh, see here uh, customer data is repeating okay so 100 is john 200 smith 300 mark 400 albert and again uh, same, uh, same customer may uh, uh, order the uh, different item or may order the same item again so that's why this uh, repeating uh, the, the group of data is repeating here okay so uh, what i will do is this uh, different customer data i will maintain in a customer table okay so there are uh, four uh, different customer here so i am creating a customer table with four different customer and i'll uh, create a primary key of the customer id okay on the customer id so um, i am maintaining uh, my customer data in the customer table okay so and uh, the item table uh, here is a item uh, the customer has been ordered so in the i i'll create one separate item table and i'll maintain each item uh, with an item id okay so here is my item id is primary key and each item is a distinct prior item id okay it, each item has a distinct item id so there are uh, uh, i am maintaining the items like this and uh, this is the order date and quantity of the item ordered okay so what i'll do is i'll maintain a order id and the order date uh, so there are uh, seven uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight order has been placed so i am maintaining each order with the order date uh, with an indi individual order id okay and this is i am maintaining in the order table with a primary key that is the order id is the primary key and uh, among these uh, 
three tables I have a, a one primary key and I have to relate these three tables with one table like this this is the customer order table so that I can get a clear picture which uh, customer has uh, um, uh, has or, uh, ordered which item and what is the order ID okay so here you can see here customer order table has the customer ID and has the order ID and has the item ID and what are the quantity the customer has been ordered for this particular item so in this uh, table I have the mm, complete information about the uh, customer uh, um, customer order details database okay that's designing the customer order database so I have the complete information here and I am maintaining the, uh, maintaining the each item uh, separately uh, each data items in a separate uh, table uh, uh, creating a pr primary key column for each table and we are maintaining the complete transactional table here and I can see uh, I have to uh, I have to make these three uh, customer ID order ID and item ID uh, this is a uh, I have to uh, may I have to create the primary key with these three columns uh, uh, um, associating the three columns uh, so my primary key is a composite primary key and uh, um, yeah, and each uh, key each uh, customer ID is a foreign key of the customer table respective customer table must this is the master table and here order ID is the foreign key of my uh, order table and there is a primary key uh, of uh, here uh, in order table order ID is a primary key and here order ID is a foreign key so this is making relationship with the orders this is making relationship with the customers and item ID I am maintaining here so <coughs> this item ID is coming to from the items so uh, this here uh, item ID is a foreign key uh, with respect to the items so I am maintaining the uh, items uh, so uh, from the uh, this item table uh, so here item ID is a foreign key and uh, item ID customer ID and order ID uh, are composite primary key in this uh, customer order table so like this way I am uh, maintaining my uh, first normal form as well as second normal form also right because first normal form is saying that um, each table uh, a large table has to be split into multiple smaller tables so that data uh, are logically related and they store uh, they can st store the data in the logically related manner okay so I can see here customer all the customer data is logically related items and orders are logically related data items and uh, the second point is repeating group of data it is eliminating repeating group of data and I uh, third point I said is uh, ensure the data dependency so you can see the data depend uh, on the customer ID the other columns uh, other columns are completely dependent on the customer ID okay so here item name uh, items are dependent on the item ID orders are depend order dependent on the order ID and also there is a relational table uh, so to make all this uh, uh, to make the relationship between all three tables we have to maintain one uh, table which uh, refer to the um, uh, customer orders details okay and I already described uh, this is their foreign key and uh, they are referring to the primary key from each individual tables okay this is the complete uh, mm, about the first normal form and second normal form uh, uh, completely described in this uh, example and in the third normal form let's say the third normal form what is the third normal form I said third normal form I said is all the uh, non primary key items are f uh, or non primary key attributes or columns uh, should be fully dependent on the primary key columns okay this is the third normal form so if you can see online course registration there is a table 
online course registration here is a candidate id candidate name date of birth street where the candidates resides uh, the address uh, street address or city state zip uh, zip code and email id okay so this is the uh, uh, a uh, big table uh, which is the online course registration just uh, it, it cannot be maintained like this it has to be uh, uh, designed uh, the database properly in the no following the normalization rule right so in this uh, in this table you can see a uh, jeep has no direct relation with the candidate uh, jeep has the direct uh, relation with the candidate uh, but city, uh, state, uh, street are not uh, directly related to the candidate. Uh, so in this uh, table, I can split two uh, this full table into two tables. One is candidate table, uh, where I can uh, where I can keep the candidate ID, candidate name, date of birth, email ID, email ID, and the zip. Okay. Uh, uh, by a uh, jeep uh, i can locate the candidate right uh, because uh, jeep is uh, a look if i uh, create one another table which is named as location and here i put jeep here then street city state okay street city state so here jeep uh, is my primary key column and here candidate is my candidate id is my primary key column so here I, I will just uh, refer to the jeep uh, so that i can locate a candidate from the second table okay so my jeep id is 254 uh, for this candidate henry so i'll go to this uh, table and uh, 254 is for uh, what is the street street is state for this candidate i will get from this table okay so uh, in this table the jeep is the foreign key and in this table the jeep is the primary key so here i am maintaining the primary key and foreign key relationship from location table with the candidate table and candidate table has only the one primary key okay so here you can see the all the uh, non key uh, non primary key attribute is the fully dependent on the primary key table okay uh, if you can see all the non primary key this is the primary key and this is the non primary key attribute so all the non primary key attributes are fully dependent on the primary key and uh, here also you can see all the non primary key attribute this is state city street are fully dependent on the jeep uh, that is primary key of this table okay so this is actually the examples and uh, practical shina practical implementation of uh, third normal form okay so i can i think you have understand all these normal forms uh, i have sh described uh, each in detail and also i have uh, shown you uh, uh, in the practical uh, way how they can be implemented okay so that's all for th this tutorial session hope you have learned uh, uh, database normalization uh, very well uh, i tried to explain it uh, each and every uh, uh, topics uh, in detail and uh, with the uh, uh, with the examples and graphical uh, graphical way okay so that's all for this tutorial session just after watching this video if you uh, learned uh, it well or uh, you like this video you just give a like and if uh, my video is added value to your learning and if you learned something from my video you just give a like and uh, just comment below how you uh, how you have learned from my video uh, okay just comment below whatever your comment is after watching this video but what watch this video completely so that you can uh, understand oh yeah, my video well okay and each of the topic uh, well okay so that's all just uh, uh, like this video if it added value to your learning and if uh, it helps you in your learning and it is useful for your learning 
just like this video and subscribe my channel hitting the notification bell so that on the next video when i upload the next video it, you will get the notification of my next video and also share uh, my video with your friends and colleagues uh, with, uh, through the different media like facebook instagram uh, linkedin twitter and also whatsapp group so uh, that you uh, and whoever known to you so that uh, they can also watch my video and learn from my video okay so that's all uh, for this today's session and thank you for your time and bye